it seems there's some more Ray Challenge drama, so me and Kitty, it's time to dust ourselves off and get ready for another Raid Shadow Legends cheating, boosting, content creator, whatever drama. You know how these things go. Okay, this drama unfortunately involves a lot of content creators and a lot of content creators I actually really like. Uh, every content creator that is posted in this chat, I would like to call myself a friend with. And for some reason, people like to try to start drama between me and Murder Inc. But I've never disliked Murder Inc. either. Like, I, I've never had a problem with him. Every time he's talked to me, he's always been blatantly honest. Uh, he's He was right about a lot of stuff I've talked to him about. I personally have never had a problem with Murder Inc. It seems like people in comments like to try to start drama between Murder Inc. and other people, but I, I just, I've never, I've never personally had an issue with this guy, okay? So I get kind of sick of people trying to like start drama between me and other content creators because I don't have problems with any of these people, okay? So stop trying to do that, first of all. Second of all, I don't know who Lil Will is, but then we go through here and essentially if we read the actual chat, it's pretty simple. Basically what's going on is they're just boosting in Platinum Arena. This isn't a new thing. We knew when it came out, this was going to happen. We've been telling Plarium this was gonna happen. While they were boosting, they're telling Plarium's gonna happen. And the reason this is even a drama right in here is because this is all the way back in 2020, is because it's basically screenshots of somebody who was in the arena chat that either got salty or something and left. And so they took pictures. And all this chat is basically just showing your content creators uh, also being boosting and you know, there's big names in here like in one wacko, which is Cartman, right? And then you obviously have Scratch, Farting Cows. You, you got a bunch of content creators that are decently well known in here, Manable, One Two Mess, all that, okay? And these are people who um, kind of make, I, I don't wanna say a living, but kind of make a, a big personality out of being top arena players. And I can understand why people would feel like if you're a top arena player and it involves boosting, it does take away a lot of the legitimacy from it. Now, I'm not a platinum player, okay? I've never been a platinum player. And sure, you could leave a comment if you want, well, you're not a platinum player because you don't get boosted and it's untaught. I don't, I don't buy that. I think there's legitimate platinum players. I know there's legitimate platinum players. And I think if you're wanting to get one of the top ranks, it's, it's currently set up in a way where you literally can't get one of the top ranks without boosting because everyone's doing it. Now, I'm not saying it's right. Okay, so stop. I'm not saying it's right. It's not. Let's get it over right there. I've said this multiple times on my channel. It's not right. I'm not changing my opinion. I'm bummed out that some of my friends are a part of it. Okay, that's that's the reality of it. However, what I am saying is during a busted, completely busted system, everyone is taking advantage of the busted system. The answer to this, and we could go down the route, and I could, sure, I could talk about Cartman and say, look, the reason I stopped talking to Cartman as a YouTuber is because he tried to get me to be a sponsor for this one company who will remain nameless that basically buys and sells accounts from people. I don't do that type of shit because I think that's scamming audiences. I think if you basically have it promote something where someone could buy an account that then gets recovered and resold. I think that's basically scamming your audience. It's the same thing when people came to me with crypto and NFT sponsorship saying, look, DM, we'll give you your own crypto coin, DMT coin. You can pump it and we'll give you a shitload of it. Then you can pull it out and rug pull your own audience. This is real conversations I've had with real sponsors offering me real money. And I have really told them to go fuck themselves because in my opinion, Fucking your audience is not a good thing. The closest thing I've done to fucking my audience is clickbaiting. I'll clickbait you into my videos, admittedly, and I'll eat the shit that comes with that, okay? But I don't, I, I'm not a huge fan of things that exploit the game, that are blatant cheating, that are making money off of viewers that are basically scams. These are the type of things that I'm not fans of. I don't think this falls into the category of making money off of viewers that are scams. Nowhere near that. It falls under the unfair gameplay category and therefore should be handled by Polarium, not death and decapitation by the public. However, it's a drama right now and that's my feelings on it. Do I change the way I feel about any of these content creators from seeing them? No, they're still nice guys. I still like them. They still make good content. I understand it. Absolutely, I could understand if people are, are a little bit tilted by the fact that some of your favorite content creators have been or are currently cheating. Okay, I get that. I'm not here to argue against it. And it sucks that, you know, this is a thing. I wasn't actually aware that some of the people I know personally are boosting or were boosting, and that does, in my honesty, invalidate a little bit of 
how I felt about these people and asking their opinions about things, honestly. Because I'm not really gonna ask somebody's Platinum Arena opinion when I know they boosted to the top, regardless of how good of a Platinum Arena player they are, because that would be like asking the opinion of a NASCAR driver who, for whatever reason, has a car that's twice the turbo, or that every other car on the thing just decided to drive slower. I don't really care about that NASCAR opinions, the opinion of that driver, because he didn't legitimately win. So it, this is why I avoid shit like this. The worst DMs you're gonna get from me or me like raging and completely f like tilting on people in, in DMs. I do that shit all the time because I'm a rager. Everyone knows that, okay? This, and that's my, that's, you know, if I was gonna get in drama, that's what would be involved in me, sure, okay? And I would eat that shit. I'm not gonna be caught doing cheating stuff because I don't like this. That's just my opinion on this. I don't think this is like cancel coach your time. I don't think these people are dead in the water. I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. I think the majority of what was going on is these guys were essentially cheating because everyone else is cheating. That's what I see. It doesn't make it right and it still is wrong. That's just my opinion, okay? Hopefully it's unbalanced. I tried not to flame these guys in honesty because I actually kind of like these guys and it feels bad to to kind of see this going on. But that's just my opinion and that's the drama.